if I've got one or two pups, I'll let them all in together on an older dog um, and just let them get, get started. And I don't worry about a pup that doesn't want to start straight off, I just, just let it go. If it's looking at the sheep, fine. If it's not even looking at the sheep, then it's, it might be the one that goes somewhere else. But, and then, then once you get a pup started, the, these, these guys, they, they see sheep most days, but they don't actually get to work them. So he's, he's pretty keen to start working. Now this is the old old Sheba, the old dog. This is her pup. He's a week older than these other pups that are standing around here. And I don't just let pups in and let them run around into the sheep. Get that permanent arc there. Make that a habit. Like training a sheep dog is just a habit. If you haven't got any ability, you're not going to get any work out of them anyhow. So, um, so if you've got ability, see how he's, he's keeping his head on the stock. Even when he's when he's out there looking heads on the stock, that's what I'm looking for. A dog like that that's on his stock and he's coming straight in if he wants to, you know. So if I if I stop that, he'll come straight in like that. Lock him there. And just just ask him basically to do the job. I'm just about ready to start putting stops on this fella. In actual fact, I won't show you, but I've actually got one on him, but it's not quite ready to start using in the round yard yet. And all you do is just change sides. But as much as possible, let them come in so they don't get used to being too far out all the time. So we're, if I stand still, he should come into the sheep now. There he is. He's coming in to move those sheep, which is good. Now I'm going to move him back the other way. Just got to watch for that dive. And what I'm going to have to fix with him is a dive. He's got a little dive there, so I'll fix that. But I'll fix that now rather than later. He can take a bit, this pup. He's had a dislocated shoulder already. And the Kelpie done that to him, though. And then, not long after that, he was in here in a big weather, knocked him flat, rolled him over, and he got up. And that's usually how you ruin a good pup. But no, he got up. And, you know, it, it happened because I was actually instructing at the time and was talking and not watching me pup. And I didn't actually have these sheep. These, I know these sheep won't hurt the pups. That's why they're here. Because the last thing you need is a pup getting hurt. He's got, he's got full on. I'll, I'll have to take a little bit of shit out of him, but we'll get it out. Different style of dog. He's a different style of dog to, to these other pups. As you'll see in a minute when I put the other bitch in. Now, of course, the hard bit. This is where you become pretty good at roping. <laughs> oh, well, not like the last thing you need to do is get upset if you can't catch a puppy in the round yard. Let the bloody sheep out. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 got a bit of blossom there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's going to have a bit of bite. And this dog's background, I'm quite surprised to see that force and bite in him because his mother's weak and his father's very standoffish. When I did the mating, I thought, am I going to breed a weak pup here or what am I going to get? And I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. And, and then I even went the next step and kept the bloody white pup out of the litter. There was two nice black and white dogs and him. There was, all, there was only three pups in the litter. And I kept the only white one in the litter, so to keep a white dog for three sheep trolling, he's got to be tough. Because the sheep will just keep walking on him. Keep walking on him. So, so talk about giving myself a hard job. I, I bred two weak dogs together and got a nice strong pup, and then I kept the white pup out of the litter just to even make it harder for myself. So, so it's only because I had to keep a white pup because she'd whinge otherwise. <laughs> Say, oh no, 